Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Keto with Sammy. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. For today's video, this is the video that y'all have been waiting for. I know a lot of y'all have been wanting to know my progress along the Dairy Free Challenge this past month. So if you're new to my channel and you missed it, we did a Dairy Free Keto Challenge for 30 days for the month of July. And I am here to update y'all on my progress. So we started this challenge for 30 days starting July 1st and we ended it yesterday which was July 30th and let me tell y'all it was definitely a challenge and I know a lot of y'all it was a lot of it was a challenge for a lot of y'all as well as y'all were updating me along the challenge in the beginning it was kind of difficult easing or getting into the routine of having no dairy because as y'all know being on keto there is a lot of dairy that does go into certain recipes although you can do it dairy free with a lot of protein and veggies just making certain things does require dairy so it was very hard to wean myself out of that but within the first week it kind of got easier it did get easier as I went along and just realizing that there is actually a lot of non-dairy products that you can incorporate into your diet. So that made it much more easier as in like, I am a big coffee lover. There is non-dairy creamers that you can incorporate with your coffee. It was kind of not, it wasn't difficult like adding dairy to like certain vegetables and things like that. As long as you season it well, we make some awesome meals. I really hope I gave y'all some awesome meal ideas along this 30 day challenge. I really stuck with a lot of veggies and protein i honestly stuck with a lot of asian inspired foods because i feel like asian inspired foods don't really require dairy so i honestly ate a lot of that along the challenge and as for my coffee I, there is non-dairy creamers and we even discovered that um there is non-dairy ice creams that aren't full of sugar so because i'm a big sweet person so a lot of that really helped along the 30 days and it really kept me on track. Um, but I know a lot of y'all struggled as well and a lot of y'all were saying it was getting easier. Everybody had their ups and downs and I'm so happy a lot of y'all stuck with the challenge. But let's go, let me go ahead and update y'all on my progress. Okay, so I'm going to be popping up my progress pic. So I did take progress pictures um, in the beginning of the 30 day challenge and I just took some to, uh, yesterday to update y'all for today's video. I think I did really well. Now, the only downside that I would think would be for my, what I wanted to do along this challenge was to really work out because I was going to the gym, but it is summer. My kids are off for summer and I don't have nobody to be home with my kids. So I couldn't really go to the gym. So I didn't make progress working out wise, which I really wish I could have. Um, I think I'm really going to concentrate on the next challenge, but that's for the end of the video. Um, but overall, I think going dairy free really helped me get rid of my bloat. I feel like when I eat a lot of dairy, I tend to bloat a lot in my stomach area. I feel like I hold it a lot in that area. So as you can see, I think I made pretty good progress with slimming down my stomach wise. Um, as you can see, I slimmed down a lot in my upper stomach area. My back slimmed down quite a bit with like my little um, handles underneath and like my love handle wise. So I think I did really well slimming down. I think going dairy free really helped me get that jump start back into where I needed. Um, and just really keep pushing from here. Um, I know a lot of you are gonna ask if I'm going to incorporate dairy again. I am, but I think I'm going to limit myself um, as much as I can. Of course, like I do recipes for y'all and I create different recipes for y'all to enjoy along your keto journey because I have always had dairy throughout my journey with keto. So it's not a bad thing. I just think that I have come very far into my journey and there's just certain things that I need to cut down on if I still want to keep making progress and the progress that I want to make. So I will still incorporate dairy. I think I'm just going to limit myself to maybe one or two times a week, depending if it needs it. I feel like if my meals do not need that extra dairy, I shouldn't add it. You know what I mean? Because sometimes I do get comments like in the back, um, in the past videos where a lot of y'all say I do eat a lot of dairy or, you know, this diet does have a lot of dairy and it does if you do incorporate it. 
with certain things. So from now on, I think I'm just gonna limit myself with dairy because I feel like it just helped me get rid of a lot of my bloat and it, it gave me more energy. I, I'm the type of person, like I bloat so easily. I don't know why, like I'm always telling my husband like, oh, I'm bloated, I'm bloated. He's like, you're always bloated. I was like, I know. But I think it's just because I do incorporate a lot of dairy into my diet. So from now on, I am going to limit myself. But overall, I think I made really really good progress in my stomach area you guys because when i first started this challenge i was like you know what like i really want to see what no dairy can really do for me because i have done it before i did it like last year and it made it did really good for me but it's so hard to really stick with no dairy because if you are a dairy person you know how hard it can be if y'all did this challenge you know how hard it can be so I did still have a lot of dairy even after that no dairy challenge last year, but this time I really wanted to see and really wanted y'all to jump along the challenge if y'all just need a little boost. I know a lot of y'all got a little boost from this challenge. Um, I'm gonna pop up y'all's comments on y'all's progress, but I think I did really good with really slimming down. Um, it really helped me get rid of that bloat. So I, it opened my eyes to as I really needed to limit myself on dairy. So let me talk about how much weight I actually lost along this challenge. So I started this challenge at 155 pounds. Um, I did go up um, when I did first start the challenge. This is why I wanted to start a challenge again because I really needed a little jump start again and really get myself back into the groove of things because like I said, I haven't been doing this for four years and you kind of get into like this routine right so i was kind of in a rut if if y'all have been keeping up on my videos i was kind of in a rut uh the end of last year i like was doing keto but then i would fall off and like i was just going back and forth i wasn't as strict as i have always been so i did gain some weight i would always just go up and down so i really needed to like jump start it and really kick myself in the butt and really get back on track with things because i just was not feeling myself i do not like to feel like that me what keeps me going is doing what i love and really eating healthy and just eating the foods that i love working out like that's what keeps me going and i was just in a rut and i gained some weight so at this challenge i had started at 155 and currently i'm at 147.2 in total i lost 7.8 pounds in one month along this challenge which for me i think is awesome a lot of y'all some of y'all lost a little bit more some of y'all lost a little bit less like i said everybody is different right everybody's going some people are going to lose weight faster some people are going to lose weight slower for me i think i did pretty good 7.8 pounds is really good for me at least i'm going down and not up i'm going in a positive direction and not going in the other direction you know what i mean so i feel like if you did only lose five pounds like five pounds is a really good amount for you to lose in one month like just keep on pushing so i think i did really good 7.8 pounds lost in total and I really try not to stress over the scale. Like I tell people that a lot, don't stress over the scale. I'm trying not to stress over the scale um, because I feel like if I see the progress in the pictures, like that's what keeps me going. So I just wanted to jump on the scale just to keep y'all updated and just to at least jump on the scale maybe like once every week or so, however long you wanna do it, even if it's once a month, just to make sure you're going in the progress that you wanna go. Um, and that'll be good. I just, I don't want anybody to stress over the scale because I know how hard it can be when you don't see those numbers going the way you want them to go. It could really discourage you. That's why I tell, that's why I told a lot of people in the beginning of this challenge to take progress pictures. Like take your before and after pictures because you will see it in the pictures. You will feel it in your clothes. Some people lose inches um, faster than pounds. So it all just depends on you, you guys. So don't feel discouraged if you, didn't lose as many pounds as somebody else did along this challenge. I think everybody did awesome and I think a lot of y'all stuck with it and thank y'all so much for sticking with this challenge. Okay, so a couple of y'all commented on y'all's progress throughout the Dairy Free Challenge and I just wanted to post whoever did comment. Um, if y'all still need to comment y'all's update, definitely comment down below on this video y'all's progress for the No Dairy Free Challenge. So Marie, she lost eight pounds along this challenge. Awesome awesome progress like i said i lost around the same pounds as you i lost the seven what was it 7.8 pounds so about the same amount and that is amazing progress so you are going in a positive direction awesome job i applaud you for really sticking with it 
Next person, Miss Duncan, she said, this was a hard challenge. Dinner was Wingstop because I commented, I had posted what y'all were having for dinner last night. I love me some wings. Um, she said, I lost six pounds, but not worth it to me. Mostly water inches could be different. I definitely think that is definitely worth it. At least you are going in the positive direction you know what i mean i know a lot of people feel like when they do challenge they have to lose so many pounds like you want to lose over like 20 pounds in just a month and i understand that you know what i mean like i understand that want to do it but this is a journey like i tell everybody this is a journey this is a lifestyle like as long as you're making progress and as long as you feel awesome and you're feeling good and you're feeling energetic like that's all that matters like your progress will come. Sometimes I lose more pounds in a week than the next week. Like my weight always goes up and down and that's for everybody. Like your weight is always going to fluctuate. So I say like if you're just sticking with what you want and doing what you need to do, I think that is awesome progress. And even if it is water weight, right? At least you got rid, rid of that blow and at least you feel great. So inches can be different. Like that's why I tell everybody, take your progress pictures. So if you did take progress pictures, definitely compare those pictures and you will see the difference, okay? Um, okay, Monica, she lost 14 pounds. That is amazing progress. So Monica, she said, I lost 14 pounds, no workouts, and my sciatic no longer exists. So first of all, amazing progress okay awesome job that is amazing congrats i really hope you took before and after pictures but amazing progress thank you so much for sticking with the challenge so i really hope this just jump starts you and you keep on going throughout your journey so sciatic if anybody does not know about sciatic nerve pain it hurts and i know because when i first started keto which was like four years ago right if y'all don't know i've had three boys back to back I was at my heaviest weight. That's why I started my keto journey. I was over 200 pounds. I'm only 4'11". I am a small woman. And I would get that pain in my sciatic nerve. If anybody doesn't know what the sciatic nerve is, it's like in your, kind of like your butt area, but it's just like a nerve right here that shoots down your leg. And it hurts so bad. I don't even know how to explain the pain. And I would get that every single day when I was overweight. I felt like I couldn't keep up with my kids because I have three boys they were all little. They were so energetic. I would be on my feet all day. And by the time I would lay down, I couldn't even move. Like that sciatic nerve pain, I would make my husband like rub it out. I would have to stretch it out. I could barely walk the next day. It was so sore. So I understand that pain because I would get it a lot. And then throughout my journey, as I started losing weight, it went away like it was crazy it was insane like i started feeling that pain less and less so if you do have that pain maybe you know try try to jump on something like try to lose weight or really get into a lifestyle and become active because it really does make a difference because i used to get it so bad so i'm really glad that you got rid of that pain because i understand it okay i understand that pain it is a really hard thing to deal with so congrats to you even if it's a little accomplishments like that you guys like those little accomplishments matter that's why i always tell people like update me on your progress it doesn't have to be your weight like it can be little accomplishments like hey i can reach my feet now like i remember when i first started my journey i couldn't even paint my toenails without like leaning this way or like not breathing like i would have to catch my breath so it's like little things like that like hey this shirt fits me loose now hey i have more energy i can go up the stairs faster now or i can keep up with my kids it's just like little things like that you guys it matters like that matters throughout your journey it really does so i really i really love when y'all update me on little things like that so congrats to everybody tayanda she put i honestly haven't seen any progress why well, well i did incorporate a bit of workouts and i feel better from that but i'm not a big dairy fan anyway so this challenge wasn't too hard for me and that's okay as long as you're feeling better um hopefully on the maybe you can jump on the next challenge i know this challenge was difficult not a lot of people want to go dairy free not a lot of people have the the like want to go dairy free and things like that so i really try to incorporate different challenges for everybody right y'all have seen me do the 90 day challenge um i've done the dairy free challenge i've done just doing the keto for a month like i've done different challenges so i really try to do a whole variety mix and i think i am going to do another challenge coming up so stay tuned for the end of this video because i'm going to update you on some things but 
Um, hopefully you could jump on the next challenge and that'll be more progress for you. Um, sometimes some people don't really see progress just going dairy free. I personally did because I did incorporate a lot of dairy and I bloat very easily. So I think it was really good for me and a lot of y'all. Well, it was good for y'all, a lot of y'all as well. So hopefully you can jump on the next challenge, but congrats on actually working out and feeling really good. I really hope you keep on pushing throughout your journey. But overall, you guys, that was my update on the dairy free challenge. I'm still going to keep pushing. Um, and I really hope y'all keep pushing as well and keep updating me along y'all's progress. I get messages every single day about how much I encourage y'all and how much I influence y'all along y'all's journey. And that's literally what I do this for. So if you ever need any help, if you ever have any questions, feel free to message me on my social medias. I have Instagram and Facebook. You can even comment on here. Or if you don't have social medias, you can even email me personally and I will get back to you as soon as I can. But this is what I do it for, you know? And I really hope everybody joins in. A lot more people join in on the next challenge. So speaking of a next challenge, I think I'm going to do another challenge in a couple weeks okay i'm just gonna put it out there right now so a lot of y'all know ahead of time maybe y'all have any input on it um so right now the spot that i'm in at my journey i know that i need to work out like really really work out like and i have like i have been working out like within the past year um but it's a lot of stop and go for me because i am a mom and i do have things come up just like it's summer right now my husband works a lot out of town and i don't have family here so i can't go to the gym like i can't go i have my boys um i used to work out in my garage here at home but i am a stay-at-home mom i work from home i really wanted something to get for myself to get out of the house which was a gym for me so i don't really have my setup anymore um so i just know that i need to push on my working out and obviously dairy free helped get rid of my blow and really help jump start it and i feel awesome i feel slim i feel good but i think in my opinion i need to go back to really tracking and i'm not talking about tracking as in keto macros wise i think i want to be in a calorie deficit and really um concentrate on my protein intake because i am going to go to the gym so i think for the next challenge and let me know what y'all think i think that we should do a calorie deficit challenge even if it doesn't matter what diet. I feel like a lot of y'all follow me and a lot of y'all do different things. Even if it's keto, if it's just low calorie, if you're doing, um, a lot of y'all do, what's that? Oh my God, what is that? Where you just eat protein? Um, okay, I can't remember the name of it, but I know a lot of y'all do like the, where you just eat a lot of protein, things like that, okay? So it doesn't matter what diet you are doing. I think for the next challenge, we should just do a calorie, calorie deficit while working out, if y'all can incorporate some workouts, and then it doesn't matter what diet you do or what diet you follow along. I just think that we should all do a calorie kind of deficit thing. And I think that would be really good because I think that's where I need to be. I think that's where I can make the most progress at. Um, and I have been doing keto for a long time, but I think I wanna start incorporating a lot of like low carb meals with a mix of keto. Um, and I think, for me, I will probably see a lot more progress with that because I do need to tone up and I feel like with just lifting weights in the gym will really get me where I want to be as in like toned wise. Like I said, I'm not really concentrated on my pounds. Um, my scale does keep track of like my muscle mass and stuff. So I think I'm going to really concentrate on that. Um, but I think for the next challenge, I think we should do a calorie deficit challenge while following a diet of your choice and incorporating some workouts and i think that'll be really good i know a lot of y'all probably can't go to the gym but it doesn't really matter like what kind of workout you do as long as as long as you do something that gets you moving it can be zumba it could be walking it could be lifting weights you can go to the gym anything as in like a workout kind of thing i think it'll be really good and i have tried to do like a workout challenge before and a lot of y'all did follow it a lot of y'all get y'all's workouts and things like that but i think while doing it in a calorie deficit I think it'll be really good because it's been a while since I have really kept track of my macros because it, it does it's like a job it's it's a lot to really track and I do a lot myself as in being a mom a content creator and things like that but I feel like if I really really want to push myself and really get to where I want to be personally I think I need to so I think for this next challenge I really want to do a calorie deficit challenge while working out and following a diet of your choice. So if y'all are in for that, 
comment down below and i really hope a lot more people joining in along on that challenge hopefully it's a little bit more easier for y'all because i know this dairy free challenge was very challenging okay because trust me it was challenging for me okay so i understand it but hopefully y'all join a lot of y'all joining along on the next challenge i don't have a specific date i am actually heading to san antonio this week so y'all stay tuned for some videos on san antonio <laughs> when i head out so i think i'm just gonna get a little mini vacation in the kids are almost back to school um and i know a lot of y'all are going to be busy so i'm not going to really start a challenge right now i think um maybe like mid i don't know maybe at the end of august september in that area y'all let me know when we should start the next challenge what works best for y'all i think maybe september mark end of august september i think we should start another challenge um before the holidays hit and things like that because i know a lot of y'all love to do challenges around the holidays but it's a challenge because i know a lot of y'all love to enjoy y'all's holidays and things like that so i think before the holidays hit we should get in another challenge and really see how we do there and i'm excited for that because i know where i want to go and i know where i want to be and i think this next within these next year I'm really going to get on it, okay? Because I, I need to. Like, I go up and down a lot, and I know a lot of y'all do as well if you have been on your journey for so long. It's it's a challenge, you guys. It's a challenge. Like, it's a lifestyle. You got to see where you got to make changes at. Like, doing this no dairy, okay? And let me get rid of that blow. I know I need to cut back. Now I need to see what else I want to do to really push myself in the way that I want to go. As you can see, like from the pictures for my body, I do have a scar on my stomach. If you're new to my challenge, I did not have weight loss surgery. I have lost all my weight naturally. I do have a scar on my stomach and that was due from appendix surgery. Um, I did have my appendix rupture while I was pregnant with my first son and it was super bad. I'm glad I'm okay. I almost passed away a long time ago, um, but I'm okay. But I do have that scar. And for me, I'm okay with my scar. It's just when I, when I don't tend to like work out and really stay on top of stuff and really tone up, I could see it more. So that's why I want to really work out and get my body to where I want it. Um, and I just know I need to tone up and I want to tone up as much as I can. You guys, I've had three kids and I love when y'all message me about body positivity of me having three kids and I look good and you know, I look awesome, but I really want to tone up as much as I can and really show the moms out there that you can do it without surgery. You know, I always go back and forth about having a tummy tuck because I'm only going to get so far and lose so much weight with still having my mom pouch. So that's why I want to hit the gym really hard and tone up as much as I can without having to go in that direction and really show y'all that it is possible that y'all moms can get there and do it without having to have surgery if you don't want to. Okay, I'm not saying that surgery is bad. It, it's just not something that I really want to do. It makes me nervous. So I'm trying to go in that direction as in really push myself in the gym and really do as much as I can without having to. So I think this next year... I really need to do that and really get on top of things and I'm gonna have to track and I'm gonna have to track my calories and things like that. So for this next challenge, I really wanna do that and I hope a lot of y'all join along. So comment down below if you would like to. But I hope y'all enjoyed this video, you guys, and I really hope y'all enjoyed my update and thank y'all so much for joining along my challenge. Y'all did amazing progress. Remember, if you haven't commented on your progress, comment down below if you would like to. Any little progress, if it's not pounds, if you made any little accomplishment, please comment down below. I would love to see y'all's update. But I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe to my channel for awesome keto recipes, you guys, along your weight loss journey if you would like to see more. And stay tuned for another update on the challenge i will keep y'all updated within this next month i really hope y'all follow along and i will see y'all in the next one Go keto with Sammy. if you're here you know that keto is the